A Las Vegas businessman is plopping down a million dollars to find out if there is evidence of an afterlife. Space entrepreneur Robert Bigelow has announced the creation of a new institute that is devoted to research into whether human consciousness survives physical death. He gave his first and only on camera interview to the iTunes George Knapp. This is a, a, a life size full scale mock up. Bigelow Aerospace's sprawling plant is idle for now, shut down as non essential during the early weeks of the COVID pandemic. But owner and founder Robert Bigelow hopes that his plans to build inflatable habitats for use in future space stations could be revived. In the meantime, Bigelow is pursuing his twin passions, what he calls the two holy grail questions of human existence Are we alone in the universe? And what happens to us when we die? My mother he decided. Mother at a young age to make enough money so he could go after the answers. Um, and then I committed when I was about 12 years old to really get into this someday. When I grew up, and I, if I had money, and trying to figure a way how to make money in order to commune with other people, maybe create uh, some kind of groups or whatever to help me uh, explore. Bigelow has been funding UFO research for more than 30 years and has likely spent more on that mystery than any person in history, including his purchase of a paranormal hotspot in Utah known as Skinwalker Ranch. He admits his interest in the afterlife is in part motivated by heartbreaking losses in his own life. His father, son, grandson, and more recently his wife Diane. Through the use of mediums, Bigelow said he was able to get some level of assurance that something in us survives physical death. Yeah, you have this dichotomy <clears throat> between the brain <clears throat> and mind, right? The brain is the physical manifestation, and the parochial thinking is that when the brain ceases to function, <clears throat> you don't have a mind. That's it. There is no consciousness. And so we know by uh, a number of different ways that the brain can cease functioning, but your mind can continue. Well, then where the hell is your mind? Hey, you've lost your mind, <laughs> right? So where is it? Last June, Bigelow developed a plan to create BIX, the Bigelow Institute for Consciousness Studies. The first project for BIX is an essay contest, inviting scholars, investigators, even laymen, to apply to the BIX website to enter the contest, seeking the best evidence in support of an afterlife. First prize for the contest, $500,000, with $300,000 for second place and $150,000 for third. The rules and procedures are listed on the BIX website. Bigelow rarely does on-camera interviews, but he gave us the first in which he answered other questions related to his UFO projects. He also spoke with the New York Times, which has published a remarkable profile piece. Bigelow hopes the news coverage will result in waves of high-quality essays to help document whether an afterlife is more than wishful thinking. I think because I believe the other side does exist, that and there's benefits if, if people because I've experienced those with with people passing over and most people of, of any age you know have people that they lose so <clears throat> if uh, if you can if people can be helped um, in a grief situation in a sorrow situation <clears throat> by by information then, and the information isn't something that hurts, it hurts you, it's a, it's a good, it's a good, um, it's a good gift to have that information. George Knapp, 8 News Now. To hear more of our interview with Robert Bigelow, check out mysterywire.com. Also, there are links to the Bix website with information about that essay contest.